Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on uh, automotive waveforms. Today I'm using a new uh, tool, uh, my new favorite tool, it's the, uh, the new PicoScope 4 channel. Very excited about it. I have all four channels hooked up, of course. I'm working on a O2 BMW 5 Series. Here I have my breakout leads on the ignition coil. I have three breakout leads, one going to, let's shine this up a little bit, one going to the positive, this is the positive feed, the blue is the, the negative and the uh, coil control, and the white, believe it or not, is a sensor, inside, is the wire for a sensor inside of this coil that detects spark. And here I have the current clamp, the Pico current clamp. Looking at the current draw of this particular coil, the number four. The reason I'm checking the number four is this car came in with the PO304 misfire code, history code, so it's not doing it right now. So if you look at the waveform here, the blue trace is the positive feed. The green trace is the coil control, as we can see the the primary ignition waveform. The red trace is the uh, the wire for the sensor that detects the spark in each coil and I'm going to come back to that in a minute and the brown trace is the coil current so let's get this screen a little tighter it gets a little more detail let's do one millisecond per division and look at that look at all these primary ignition waveforms and the reason I wanted to show you this is you see one two three four five six sparks here but they're not the six sparks of the different cylinders this is actually, I'm checking one coil here. There are six sparks for, at idle for every revolution of this engine. So you have the intake, the compression, the combustion, which is usually done by one spark on most cars. On this car, in O2, it has six separate sparks. Let's get even a little more detail. Let's go to 100 microseconds per division. And look, the primary ignition, with the the dwell, we can't see the whole dwell time here. Um, the control of the coil and this red spike here, this is the sensor inside of the coil that's detecting its spark. So let's go back to a wider screen. Let's go back to 20 milliseconds per division. So if I'm connected to the number four coil, you're probably asking yourself why is there? Let's go a little more wider so you can see the next one. Here we go. So each one of these is the sparks of the number four cylinder. So it, let's, I'm not sure of the firing order of this engine, but let's say for argument's sake, it's, it's one, four, two, five, three, six. So this would be the number four. So this would be the number one. It'd be one, four, two, five, three, six. One, four, two, five, three, six. One, four, two, five, and so on. So asking yourself, why is there a red spike where the number four isn't firing? Well, in this engine, that wire, the sensor wire for the ignition, is actually shared amongst all cylinders. And since the engine has a crankshaft position sensor and it knows where all the pistons are at all times, it can deduce which cylinder this is coming from. So from this waveform, we can actually deduce, let me zoom in a little bit, that all of the, all of the cylinders are actually firing. Let me pause this and let's zoom in. You can see all the cylinders look the same. You can, you can, if the firing order is 1, 4, it's 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, 1. So if any one of these were missing, we'd be able to tell just from that one wire, from that one coil, if one of the cylinders was not sparking.